So this spring training, all eyes have been on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And for good reason. I mean, they signed the face of baseball to a $700 million contract. In total, they spent a billion dollars this offseason, not to mention being heavily involved in the trade market. But since the exhibition games have begun, the talk has transitioned to the defense, namely a former top prospect returning from injury, Gavin Lux, who was slated to be the team's starting shortstop in the 2024 season. Yeah, that lasted about two weeks before Dave Roberts made a change. So should we be concerned about the Los Angeles Dodgers? I mean, on paper, the answer is no. But you gotta remember how important defense is. Guys get jobs, particularly due to the defense they play. If you just look at a box score, guy goes 0 for 4, you wonder what he what he contributed, like an Andrelton Simmons type. But it's the intangibles. It's the defense that he brings you that wins championships. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about it. So, the big news, of course, that happened a few days ago was Mookie Betts has now been named the starting shortstop for the Los Angeles Dodgers. This was a decision made by manager Dave Roberts after Gavin Lux was having a lot of struggles playing the position within spring training games. Of course, Gavin, you remember, missed all of the 2023 season with injury, but before then, in 2022, he looked pretty promising. He looked like he was finally on the road to become the player that everybody projected him to be. And as we know, the depth chart is like the times. They are a-changing. Gavin Lux was put in at shortstop, and he didn't do that good of a job. He made a couple errors within, I think, 31 innings in spring training action before being moved over to second base. And even then, at second, he's not looking great. I mean, you see this clip right here where it's a routine ground ball. He has all the time in the world, yet he still short hops the first baseman on the throw. I mean, they barely get the out. So it begs the question, is it mental? We've seen a lot of baseball players go through the yips where the fundamentals just aren't so fundamental anymore. And of course, his replacement, Mookie Betts, who played shortstop many, many moons ago in high school, is now coming into that position, which he hasn't really played too much as a professional. He did fill in at shortstop a bit last season, but even him, he's had some issues at the position, which isn't necessarily a surprise. Shortstop and catcher, definitely the two most difficult positions to field within the game of baseball. And it's only spring training. These games don't count. They're here for a reason to ramp you up for the games that do count. But I have seen a lot of Dodger fans concerned. I've seen Dave Roberts concerned. And I get it. This defense has not looked good, and that is bound to spell problems for the team when games actually matter in crucial moments. And when it comes to Gavin Lux, of course, it doesn't really matter. If you look at the Dodgers depth chart, they're going to be fine. I mean, they've got Enrique Hernandez, who they recently brought back. He's played 1,900 pretty damn good innings at second base, 17 defensive runs saved. They've got Chris Taylor, their always reliable utility guy who's played just shy of 1,000 innings at second base. Miggy Rojas, more of a shortstop, but he's played 320 innings at the position. And Max Muncy, don't forget about him. He's also been pretty good at second. Six defensive runs saved across 1,300 innings. And the same goes for Mookie Betts. If he were to have issues where you don't think he can play shortstop, those guys can. They've proven it at this point. I don't think it's so much a concern for the Dodgers. I think it's a concern for Gavin Lux. It's a concern for me who put him on my breakout list because there's question if he is going to make this team. If he can't be counted on defensively, then you've got to look at what else he brings you. His bat, which he's hit over 300 in spring training, but there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of good players on this Dodger team. And you look at a guy like Kike, you look at a guy like Chris Taylor, who just simply bring more versatility to the table, or a guy like Miguel Vargas. Younger, he played last year 600 plus innings at second base. Not very good, he was a below average defender. But you start to wonder if Gavin Lux is gonna break spring training with the Major League Ball Club. 
That's becoming a big question because it's not isolated. There's many a cases that you can see where he's just not looking sharp defensively at second base at shortstop. The routine plays have been a little bit tough on him and that again is going to cost you. I can't stress enough. I know baseball has been going so heavily to an offensive natured game, but defense does matter. And we've seen that time in and time out. So let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think? Are you concerned at all for the Dodgers? I know it's uh, tough to say woe is me for the team that has Shohei Otani, Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, Tyler Glass now. <laughs> the list goes on and on. But this certainly could be a hitch in their plans for the 2024 season. So if you guys did enjoy this one, leave a like down below. Gonna have more videos talking about ah, this sort of thing. And just simple breaking stuff down uh, as we get ready for the season. Speaking of the Dodgers, they're playing regular season games in about a week at 5 o'clock in the morning in Korea. So <laughs> set those alarms and get ready and we'll see if Gavin Lux is the starting second baseman and how the Dodgers are going to fare, how they're going to align defensively. But that's all for now. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and thank you for watching.